second and seven. Here is Judy on the pitch. He's got great speed. And Judy is up to the 35-yard line. When we were playing Lugs, that's for sure. That would have padded the stats a little bit. Harris off the right side, cuts it back. Great balance by Harris inside the 40-yard line. A pickup of about 13. They shift Judy into the backfield, and they're going to set up a bubble screen. It's caught by Judy, and he's got the first down. More opportunities as the year goes along. Bad snap, ball on the ground. Starko can't get there, and it's picked up. The true freshman Christian Harris takes it back inside the 15-yard line. A colossal gap by Arkansas on the snap. Rolling out Jones, looking, end zone, it's caught for a touchdown. I don't know if Runs was the intended receiver or not. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a tough, tough task for him to handle Raekwon. There's Stark all over the middle, ball batted in the air, a diving interception attempt by Jennings. Does he secure the catch? Those guys catch the ball with full head of steam. Here's Judy, and he's able to break a tackle, and he's heading in, touchdown Alabama. Well, you got one right. <laughs> and nine more. Devontae Smith in the open field. Inside the 30. And finally dragged out of bounds. Safety's being over the top. Just come to your check down. Nothing wrong with that. Rugs is there. A little bit of a rub there over the football. Here's Harris. No signal yet. It's a touchdown. 23. You can see. There's Harris again. He's in. It's 30 to nothing. Alabama. Starkle up third and three. And another interception. He threw it right to Diggs. And Diggs on a fumble recovery for a touchdown last week. Has a pick six this week. Touchdown back. a lot of force, so right ankle is a good thing for his recovery. Jones taking a shot here for Judy. The pass is on the money. It's a touchdown. I'll be here in a couple weeks, but still a long way to go. But Alabama is certainly looking excellent tonight. Here's Waddle. Yeah, just shows you some of that incredible skill as he backtracks past 35. And inside the 20 before he goes out of bounds. Touchdown toss for Jones, and that was beautifully done from 40 yards away. Two touchdown catches for Judy. Well, I was uh, really pleased with the way we came out and played, you know, especially in the first half. Um, you know, Mac did a really good job of executing the offense. He was very efficient and effective in the passing game. Did a nice job on third down, kept a lot of drives going. Um, I think we had four turnovers or whatever on defense in the second half, which led to 24 points, which was, you know, really good. Um, thought the guys played hard and competed hard in the game. And, you know, we could have finished the game a little better in the second half, but had the opportunity to play a lot of players. Uh, got a lot of experience, you know, with some of those players. And I think that's probably the most important thing, you know, for our team right now. So, you know, this was a game that, you know, if we'd take any rat poison, we, we wouldn't have been focused on this game at all based on everybody else in the community and the media and, you know, the fans and the questions I get asked on a radio show and, you know, Nick at noon. I mean, I get asked about the next game when we had this game. And I was really pleased with the way our players stayed focused on what they had to do in this game so that we could improve as a team. 
I'm sure there's things that we will see in the film that we could do better. Um, but I think our guys competed hard in the game. They played hard in the game. Um, and, you know, took care of business the way we wanted to. You know, from an injury standpoint, um, you know, Najee just barely twisted his ankle. He's fine. Could have went back and played in the game. We just didn't put him back in the game. Um, Smitty has a bruised shoulder. Um, he'd probably be out for, you know, a few days, but should be fine. Um, you know, Shaheem Carter went out with a little knee sprain. He'll be fine. I don't think we have anybody that's significantly enough hurt. Caho has a, a fractured hand, which will be fixed, and he'll be able to play in a cast. Um, Tua is doing really, really well. Uh, he's on the Ultra G uh, already, uh, running on the Ultra G. We expect him to ter return to practice by midweek, you know, this week. Um, I don't know what he'll be able to do or how much, but, you know, that's sort of the, the prognosis for where we are right now. So, um, anyway, all in all, good team win.